Hi, my name is Jenna, and today we are going to draw chameleons. Okay, so we're going to start with the eye. That's always my favorite. And we're going to go, if this is the halfway point, we're going to use this, this side right here. So we're going to, the head is going to be in here. So right here, we're going to do a big circle, just like this. Make a circle about the size of a dime. And you're going to make the chameleon looking somewhere. You can make him look up to the back. I'm going to do that. And then you're going to do some dotted, dotted lines around the eye like that. Like that. Just around like that. Okay? And then you're going to continue to do the front of the nose. So start at the very top of the eye. It's going to go forward. And then back. And then up, okay? And then this is its little hood, so start at the very top of the eye again, a little bit back like that, and then back, and then around, and up like that, okay? Add a little nostril here, and then we're going to do the, the big, um, the back of the chameleon. So come down a little bit from behind his head, and you're just going to do curl. And then you just keep going round and round and round like that. Actually, even a little bit more. Okay, so that's his tail. And then what I like to do is add some ridges. So I'm going to add some fun details. So here's just a simple way to add some realistic ridges on his back. And you can kind of make them fade if you want, or they can continue to about here. Okay, next we're going to do um, let's do the legs. Okay, so here's here's his head. So his leg is going to start just a, just a few, like a finger um, back from his head. So down here, you're going to go back like this. And it's almost like the number seven. You're going to go like there, and then forward, like the number seven. Okay, and then you don't want his arm too thin, so make sure that you're thinking about the thickness of his arm. So it's going to go to there, okay, and then it's going to get a little bit thinner down here. So that I like to start down by the wrist, okay? Now, they have a funny way to hold the branch. So I'm gonna go this way, and then I'm gonna jump and do a, an upside down V shape like that, okay? And then, that's gonna curl around my branch. So it's just a little curve like that. So that's his, that's his little basic hand. And then I'm gonna start here and start the branch that he's standing on. So I'm just gonna do a few little bumps because they're rarely just perfect like that, okay? I'm going to connect this to the arm. So now he has a body. We're starting the body. Now the back leg is going to go forward and back, back down. So the body is going to come along here. So we're going to go up, look like here, and forward. And same thing, but just a backward seven, like that, okay? And now his body's getting thin, so I don't want it too thin. So let's do a body, a little stomach. See how I just followed it underneath? And then this guy needs to have another, let's see, we're gonna do, this branch will continue. And then let's do the bottom of that other branch. We'll have it branch. Let's see. Into two. There we go. Okay. Now this little guy is holding on to that side, and then we'll just curve it, and then that's the back of that little guy's foot. There we go. And his toe would kind of curl up like that. Okay, that was kind of fast. Sorry about that. Okay, now we're gonna add some detail. So this is the fun part. You can use crayons and you can do a wash of color over top after, or you can do just a Sharpie and lots of detail. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to add some ridge um, texture to this. So I'm just gonna do some little, almost like little scales of a fish, badoop, badoop, like that. And maybe another layer. Like that, a few layers of little 
scallops almost. And then I'm going to just turn them into dots, just to add some interesting texture to this face. Like that. Let's see. Just make it interesting. And then on the back, often they'll have like a little ridge um, about here, but maybe have different shapes or a change of color along here. So, like that. And then what else do we do? We could do just a few little curves. And all down his back, just like that. Good. And there's my little chameleon. I'm going to add a few more um, leaves or something to his branch to make it interesting. So here comes a little leaf. A nice big leaf shape. And then the vein gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then a few extra. And then always put it like a little bud. Here's another little one starting. And maybe you want to add a story to this. What's happening? Is there a little ant coming along here? A little ant. Or maybe he's looking at a bug up here. Could add a little bug flying, catching his attention. So it's quite fun to add a little story. Maybe you could have his tongue coming up. And grabbing it would be fun. And you can also add an expression. Maybe you want to have a little smiling chameleon. They often look like they're frowning, but we could have a smile. And then just fill the rest of this with some interesting shapes or dots or whatever colors you want on your chameleon. And this can go on and on, but I'm going to keep it simple. Um, often the tail has some lines on it like this. So I'm just going to add some lines to the tail. There we go. And to the legs too. And we'll just keep it simple today. And that is your basic chameleon. Well, let's just finish this branch. So come through this. See how I'm just draw I'm starting here? And then we'll just finish this. Maybe it branches off to another one, because that's what happens with branches a lot. This one would continue down here. Let's do it another branch here. And do another leaf, because it's kind of empty here too. There's the center, and the big leaf. Maybe it has a few bites out of it. Another little bud, and some leaves. There. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed our video. And if you want to be notified of other ones coming up, be sure to subscribe below and I'll be posting more videos soon. Thanks. Bye.